Hey, Prince Bosco here with another video. And today, as you can probably tell, this is another Galactic Craft mod tutorial. And you thought I was done, but there was an update. 1.7.10. And what was in this update uh, was Galactic Craft. It's called Galactic Craft 3. And it added quite a lot of stuff and a lot of new mechanics. So. Right off the bat, I guess I'll start with some of the mechanics. So basically, when you first load in the world, you'll get this new message that's not been seen before. But since I already loaded in the world, um, I can't get to that message. But this is how you can get to the message anyway. So if you press escape, you'll probably notice that there's this little thing down here called Space Race Manager. And I'm assuming this is um, obviously referencing to the Cold War, not only that, but I guess the fact that you can... I guess space raise against other players which is definitely cool so if you press it it'll open up this tab which will open up if you first load in the world and you'll notice a couple things such as customize flag, change team color, name team, add player view uh, stats it says coming soon so that seems a little interesting and I'll get into this I guess right now so I'm gonna start with customize flag so you're going to be given this and uh, basically this is going to be your flag and what you do is you can manipulate the color by using red, green, or blue um, so you can manipulate the colors to get orange or something um, and you can just do like so and also you'll notice that there's this little brush here and this brush is obviously for putting down the pixels and this changes the size so if I go to lowest, it'll be like that. Or if we go to medium, it'll be... Okay, that's quite big. <laughs> so I guess you'd finally want to go to... I think it's really big really fast. So I guess maybe even there? Yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, and then this obviously erases. And you can change the size of the eraser. So you can erase more. This, um, I guess uh, you can make squares out of, I'm assuming. I actually haven't really done much with this uh, selection tool I think it is um, yeah I I don't know what's going on there so and this is a selection color tool which allows you to select different colors and use them oh okay so let's only color in that spot okay so that's the square makes it so that you can only color in the selected area which I guess can be useful and this just makes a grid and yeah, so here's my flag. Uh, change team color. Uh, basically, I guess it's just the color of your team. Manipulate this however you want. So, uh, there you go. And then you can name your team. So I guess team Popeye. Awesome. Um, and you can add players apparently. And okay, so they must be within 25 blocks. And obviously, there's no one on this world but me. So that doesn't really work. And you can remove players, and yeah, they don't have to be anywhere near you. It, it doesn't work, but I'm assuming it's going to let you see all the stats of all the different groups on this on uh, your server or world. And then this global, which I'm assuming is for everyone, which I will definitely be interested in seeing that. So that's kind of cool. And you'll probably notice that in the corner where my oxygen bars are, there's this other meter, and that meter completely changes I guess the game well not completely but it does edit quite a lot of what you would do because that is a cold uh, not cold temperature meter and the more it drops the colder you get and the more it rises uh, that little bar there if you're wondering what I'm talking about the more you heat up and the hotter you get uh, I'm not exactly sure what happens if you probably start dying but I know for certain that the colder you get you're going to start dying so that's a cool little thing that I will show you how you can beat that but you probably notice that Mars looks quite different. Because, uh, that's why I started on the Mars. On Mars because um, it's a cool little orange dust effect. And yeah, it looks a lot better. So um, I guess that's pretty much new mechanics there. Um, so let's get right into this. Let's start with this chest here. This is basically just miscellaneous things that um, could be used regardless of... Uh, so any exact reason so this is infinite oxygen supply which can only be obtained in creative 
and basically um, it's a canister that's filled with infinite oxygen you can use it to fill in infinite um, oxygen things and I don't know why I can't remember what the name of it is but you know what I'm talking about those things you put on your back tanks um, this is a grapple which is definitely new and is very cool and is useful for the new um, I don't know if I should call it dimension I guess place you can go a different planet area which I will show you at the end of this and basically, basically craft a grapple you're going to need string and some iron and a grapple you probably can assume what it does it's a pretty cool look to it so you can just shoot it and it will pull you towards your destination I'm pretty sure it takes string and that's why it keeps dropping it but since I'm in creative I can't tell but if it does then you would probably want to carry some string but it is useful for the like I said for the newer dimension area but it's still pretty cool anywhere you go really so that's a grapple this is an arc lamp which pretty much is just a super advanced lighting system because it's very bright and it brights quite a lot of an area and to craft it you're going to need some dash glowstone and a battery in the middle and pretty much a sec wait what am I doing game mode and set night and as you can tell it light lit up a quite a big area so it's definitely quite a useful tool so I'm just going to turn it back to day I get you can see um, this is just pretty much a bacterial sludge you can now put them in buckets and apparently it needs translate but yeah so that's kinda cool now this is what will help you with that new temperature thing thermal armor I'll call it not sure what to call it else um, and you craft this with thermal cloth and craft a thermal cloth you're going to need just some any color wool with redstone in the middle and then you can craft that using normal recipes so I'm just going to go ahead and take this and basically what this will do is it will regulate your temperature so if you're getting too cold it's going to warm you up getting too warm it's going to cool you down so it is extremely useful because on other planets you're going to tend to get pretty cold definitely in pure space so um, you don't put it on like normal armor which is actually really useful so I'm going to go oops. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I press. I think pressing by accident. But okay. Um, game mood survival just for a moment. Okay, while I'm dying, I put on. That's how you put it on. This it has its own little slot. You put it on like so, and as you can tell, my temperature is now regulated, despite the fact that I was dying. <laughs> so really pretty snuggy in one of these things. You can put armor over top of it, so it's very convenient um, so I definitely recommend you build that for the new mechanic um, then there's a fluid manipulator which sounds cool but all you do is use it for crafting for these things in the background that you'll see like these three things here and it's in the craft it you'll get the meteoric iron ingots slime balls oxygen fans and an advanced wafer so it's, you need it for those things that's pretty much about it <laughs> this thing's a little funny this is a sticky dash pickaxe and there's no crafting recipe for it and it's pretty much kind of a joke it's like an easter egg they put in and um, it looks really weird and it sounds really messed up and uh, when I was looking on the wiki to see how you could craft it or make it they said all you do is find a suitable enchanted dash pickaxe and then think about how you're going to make it sticky. So that's an interesting description of how to get this interesting item. <laughs> so pretty much there's no way to get it. But um, it's not that useful anyways. It's pretty much like a normal dash pickaxe except it automatically has silk touch. And it's the only way you can get those creeper eggs that um, are in the dungeons. So yeah it's not all that useful it's just a funny little easter egg they put in there I don't remember if this was in the last time a block of dash I don't think it was but 
Regardless if it was or not, I didn't show it last time anyways. So, you, yeah, you know to craft that probably. And uh, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. So, it's kind of neat. Um, these things don't have crafting recipes, and I couldn't find anything about them on the wiki. And it seems like it's just a, um, a texture file kind of thing that's just sitting for the next update because they don't have any purpose at the moment. And it looks really weird. Uh, just like a frame. You can put it down kind of normally, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, so um not sure exactly what this is at all. Okay, so that's a little interesting. I'm excited to see what that is. Um, but yeah, I did not know that's what that looked like. Okay, so, yeah. I guess stay tuned for that. Oops. Derp. Oh well. Um, so this stuff is, I guess, more miscellaneous stuff, but this is really cool stuff. This doesn't deserve to be in the other chest. So here we have an energy storage cluster and electric arc furnace. These two are the least coolest things. And all they are is just an, this is an upgrade of the energy storage module and an upgrade of the normal electric furnace. So it's not that big of a deal, but to craft it, uh, you're going to need some or, uh, energy storage modules all around, compressed steel and advanced wafer. Craft this. You're gonna need heavy-duty plates and an electric furnace, advanced wafer, meteoric iron. So these are big investments if you want them. Now these are the cooler things: the beam reflector and the beam receiver. Now the beam reflector to craft it, you're gonna need a beam core, a lever, and compressed titanium. I'll get the titanium, titanium um, later on, but yeah, that's how you craft it. To craft the beam core, you're going to need some redstone, compressed iron, and a glass pane. And for the beam receiver, to craft it, you're going to need compressed titanium surrounding a beam core. Now, these things are pretty cool. Now, uh, there's many different ways you can get power, I guess, in this. You can use solar panels, you can use batteries, fuel. So, um, But this is a completely new way you can get power, and it's by using energy beams. And that already sounds cool. So you just put it down, and you're probably like, well, that's what's going on. We just put down another one. And there you go. Uh, it's really simple. I did not think it was going to be this simple. But it's quite simple, really. So I guess, um, what should I do? I guess uh, Circuit Fabricator. Yes, I have a lot of mods in right now. <laughs> um, I will be reviewing most of them. So um, I'm just shoving down this random thing here. Get it turned like so. And um, basically, so you have these beam receivers. Yeah, and beam, beam receivers and beam reflectors. You can put these down like so and make it pretty interesting setup and then you can turn them just by simply right clicking on them and they'll turn to different ones and um okay apparently you can't walk through beams actually yeah you can i don't know so then you put down the beam things like so on like you put them on you can put them on uh, i think no you can't you can only put them on the output sides and that's it's pretty simple like that um now it's got Try and uh, diggity dog. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Well, no. Um. All right. Um. Okay. So. Is this doing anything? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't tested it out yet, but that's kind of how it works. Obviously, I didn't get it to work. Um, so I guess I'll try to figure this out. 
Maybe I need to complete it into a complete circle. Nothing? I don't know. Well, that's my attempt at it. Something like that. You could probably figure it out if you wanted to, but it's still pretty cool. Like, it just looks cool. So, yeah, that's as much as I can get out of it. This is even cooler, though. This kicks that out of the water. This is a short range telepad. You know that sounds awesome. And to craft it, you're going to need compressed titanium, ender pearls, redstone, and a beam core. So, um, I'm going to remove these because this isn't even working anyways. So, basically, you just put down your telepad. Say you want one there. And where do you want to teleport? You can teleport anywhere. I'm pretty sure in 250 block radius, but it has to be in the same dimension. So, let's go over on top of this mountain here. There we go. So, you got to obviously set it up. I'm not going to automatically teleport to each other. So, first off... You're going to have to put a power source in there. Um, so I'm going to put one over here. And um, so what you have to do is you see these two things here. Well, you got to give this first. You got to give this an address. So let's give this an address of one. And you need a target address. So let's put a target address of two. So um, so now you have an address of one and two. So that's it. That's um, what this kind of code of this is, is a 1, and this is, uh, it's going to f try to find another one that has a target, that has the address of 2, so, you can probably guess what you do next, so you give this an address of, well, um, 2, so people can find it, and then you target, if you want to target the other one, so you can go back, you can put it as a 1, so now they're going to teleport between each other, so basically, what you do, is you just walk in it, and you wait for it to change color. It takes a few seconds. And there we go. You gotta admit, that is pretty cool. You could completely set it that greatly. And it works perfectly with the new planet area thing. I don't even know what to call it without giving it away because I kinda wanna keep it as a surprise. So yeah, pretty much that is pretty awesome. You can completely deco awesome stuff with this. It's just really epic. So, yeah, so that is the telepad. And I definitely recommend that if you want to play it. It's quite pricey to make, I suppose, but totally worth it. So now these are just some um, random things that you can build. Um, there's now tin decoration stairs, you craft this one, you just go like that, craft this one, you do this, moon, you go like that, that, you go like this, and this, you go like that, wait, you can craft the moon dungeon, but you can't even get the bricks, that's weird, I don't know, maybe they did that by accident, um, tin decorated blocks like so, like that, you probably, you probably get the gist of it, it's basically just the same so that's pretty cool it's just no uh, I guess more decoration now let's get on to some new new stuff this is gonna be this is pretty complicated it took me a while to figure this out but it's pretty interesting and dynamic I'll tell you that much so in this chest you're gonna notice um, a fragmented carbon now to make this is pretty simply it's coal or charcoal get okay, four and eight and you're going to need this for some later stuff. This is, in my opinion, pretty useful. It's an atmospheric falls, and to get it, it attach ingots and an oxygen vent. I find this thing pretty dang useful. Hydrogen pipes, this is obviously used to transport hydrogen. And craft it, you see copper ingots. So these are pretty useful as well. Gas liquefier is going to be the first thing I'm going to be showing off in this list. Now, to craft the gas liquefier, you're going to need a heavy oxygen tank, some medium ones, an oxygen vent, an oxygen pipe, compressed bronze, oxygen compressor, another oxygen compressor, and fluid manipulator. So this is a very hefty thing to get, I'm telling you that much. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Um, I'll show what these are in a sec. Um, 
So you're going to need a few canisters. And I think that's about it. Is. So obviously you put the power in. So gas liquefier is does what it says it's going to do. It liquefies gas. You're probably wondering what's the use of that. Well, it depends on the gas that you're using. So um, there's a couple ways you can um, put stuff in there. You can use a gas canister, such as um, any of the, you know, a gas canister, a canister filled with liquid gas. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, let's just try placing a methane gas canister here because. I think that's the only gas canister there is. Let me just double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only gas uh, canister there is. It's methane gas. And so there's another way you can do it is using an atmos atmospheric valve. And what this does is it takes gases out of the atmosphere and puts it in here for you. So it depends on what planet you're at. But for Earth, I'm pretty sure it's oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. And for Mars, I'm pretty sure it's just um, carbon dioxide and so that's obviously I think it's, I guess that's carbon and oxygen and then there's also argon which has no current use. But since we're on Mars, we're going to be getting carbon dioxide and the, the other thing. So I'm going to show you with that. So um, this will use it'll be the same for either way. So you put that in, and as you can tell, it's going to start filling up with. Um, atmospheric gases and these are the atmospheric gases you're going to get okay so it's nitrogen on Mars nitrogen's on Mars and argon so uh, cool little animation because this is freezing it a lot because it has to that's how you do it carbon doesn't turn into a liquid when you freeze it actually this is just I guess a science fact but it actually works with this mod it turns into a solid and that's kind of why there's a solid there so um, so basically you can put down a gas canister. No point putting one there because you can't collect liquid argon. There's literally no point to it. So, yeah. And technically there's no point to liquid nitrogen either unless you have a mod that allows you to put it in a bucket. Because, um, what you do is when you have it in a bucket is you can put it down and it acts as like a super freezing agent. Like it's this really cold water or something like that. Pretty much acts like that. So, it's pretty much useless without a mod able to do that, so, it's kind of weird, but, yeah. And you can also get liquid oxygen, and what you do with oxygen, it, it holds tons of oxygen compared to oxygen um, tanks and such, because this can fill up four heavy-duty ones just on its own, so it's very powerful so that's one of the main reasons why you'd want to get that so basically this is how you liquefy gas and that's what you can do with liquefied gas but there's one more thing you can do and I'm gonna to get to that in a sec and this is called the water electrolyzer and this is how you get um, hydrogen and oxygen and to craft it you're gonna need heavy-duty oxygen tanks compressed copper press bronze, oxygen pipe, fluid manipulator, and an oxygen vent. Let's turn it to day. And so what you do is you're going to have to grab some water. I think you should grab four. Pretty sure four should do it. As you can tell, every time I put one in, it feels a little bit more. And I think this should do it. Yep, so you need four buckets to fully fill up the water tank. And obviously, obviously I did not prepare completely. So I did not give myself a battery. And it's going to start doing it already. So you can't put oxygen gas or hydrogen gas in canisters. So. That kind of pr probably blew your ideas out of the water, but there, the way you, what you do with it is you gotta use um, the, these pipes. Oh, why did I do that? I just made it much more convenient for myself. But uh, 
you gotta use hydrogen pipes or oxygen pipes. Hydrogen pipes obviously will get the hydrogen out. Oxygen pipes will get the oxygen out. And what you do is, um, you gotta line it up like this. So, and you can put it into one of these. No. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to work. Oh, I know, wrong one. You can put oxygen in there to turn it to liquid oxygen. But what we do with hydrogen is a different story. You don't put it in there. You actually put it in here. So, I guess I'll move on. So this is, oh, no, that's not what it is. This is a methane synthesizer. Synthesizer, shut up. <laughs> Heavy oxygen tank, um, oxygen vent, oxygen pipe, fluid manipulator, compressor, furnace, actually not a compressor, and bronze, so yeah. And it'll give you that. And pretty much, as you can tell, it's putting hydrogen gas, and you're going to need carbon dioxide gas. There's two ways you can do it. You can either um, use the atmospheric valve, or you can use a fragmented carbon, which is probably a lot easier. So. There you go. So, um. And you gotta use a battery. There we go. Okay, so it's synthesized. So th see, this is giving you methane gas, and it needs more carbon. So you get the point. Keep putting carbon in there, but I don't have enough carbon. So yeah, you get the point. And what you do with it is you're going to eventually fill it up this. And what this is useful for, which is probably the most useful out of all of them, is you can make fuel. So, um, actually, I'm just going to reset this. Because, yeah. So, let's put in that. So, start liquefying. And it's going to turn it into fuel. And that is how, that's a new way you can get fuel. And that's pretty much, uh, I guess, the easiest way, kind of. No, really. Probably the other way is still easier. But, if you can't find fuel, that's the only way to get it, really. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that is... I'm going to say I'm going to make this into two parts, probably. The next part, I will show you some more stuff you can do with your satellite now. Some stuff you can do with the new ore. And pretty much, I'm going to talk about the newest planet area. So, if you want to see that, stay tuned for more of Galacticraft tutorial and so yeah subscribe comment and rate in that order <laughs> and yeah so until next time guys see ya stay awesome